name is Melanie Sampson and I'm a senior lecturer in geography at Bits University. Many people think that reclaimers are just people who go and pick you know, items out of the trash. But in fact, the labor of being a reclaimer is, is very complex. So reclaimers need to first identify that what's in the rubbish bin is value and not waste. And then they need to have the, the skill and the dexterity to remove it, to know immediately what the value of it is. And so I've, I've been working to identify the actual system uh, that they've created. Before them, no one was collecting recyclables. And it's because of separation outside source that we have recycling rates in South Africa that are on par with Europe. My name is Luanda Sajwayo. I'm, I'm a waste ambassador and I'm a reclaimer. The role of reclaimers in South Africa, it's like the last line of defense. If it misses us, it's already gone. It's already going to contaminate the environment. I see the role that I play as providing uh, reclaimers with a platform and a way to share their, their knowledge, expertise, their ideas with industry, with government, so that we can develop uh, comprehensive recycling systems that include the separation outside source system that reclaimers have created. So for the past three years, I've been facilitating a national process for DIA and DST and have a stakeholder-led process to develop national guidelines on waste picker integration. And so we sat together and created a common map. And once we did that, then that enabled uh, each of the stakeholders to understand each other. We were meeting with all different stakeholders within the recycling industry. And all of them they were interested in finding out exactly what's happening at the bottom of the food chain and exactly how we want the whole system to be able to benefit everyone, but most of all the people that are actually doing the actual work. They are the people who are moving 70 to 80 percent of the materials from the service chain to the value chain. They save uh, municipalities up to 748 million rand a year in landfill uh, airspace, and yet they're not paid for the work that they do. Things have really shifted in the past three years and the reason that they've shifted is that reclaimers in the city have organized themselves into uh, the African Reclaimers Organization. And the most exciting part about it for me is that they have an organizing team made up of reclaimers from the streets and from the landfills who go together to talk to other reclaimers about their experiences and to bring them together to collectively develop a vision for the future. Um, Dr. Madeline Sampson being, 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 being handed that opportunity of getting that award is, I think it's, it's long overdue. Um, she, has, she has become a pillar of, of, of us waste pickers being able to do things for ourselves um, in, in us realizing the potential that we have, in us realizing that we're actually doing a lot of work for the municipality. Mm -hmm.